Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to the Fat Cat Collection. So today I want to share with you guys a watch that I reviewed quite some time ago. But I wanted to come back and just share it with you guys again because I really like the brand. And no, it's not an Evicta today. But this one here is called, sometimes referred to as Talkmeister, but I think technically pronounced Talmeister, as in Talmeister. And I know that because I was corrected by one of my viewers. Uh, so anyway, this is the watch right here, and they make these pretty awesome German-style dive watches. Uh, really huge Cantina crown protectors on them, and this is a World Time watch, and a uh, I believe a did not a digital, but a uh, a quartz alarm clock as well. Now the reason I don't really know is because the unfortunate part about this brand is that the instructions that come with it are non-existent. Um, I got no instructions of mine. I have no idea how to even make the watch work and no idea how to even use the world time on it. Um, and honestly, I really don't care. I just mainly use it for the time and the date and just I love the way that the watch looks. Now this is a hard watch to find. You probably won't find this watch available anymore. They do have this watch here uh, in a slightly different color combination. It's going to be on the silver and more of a kind of an indiglo green looking face. I really like the red or the orange and black on this one here. Uh, this came on a, a, a nice leather strap. I actually changed it out for just an inexpensive mesh band I got off eBay. Again, very, very low quality band. The band that came on was very, very nice, but I just prefer bracelet. And so even if the band is rather inexpensive, um, if I ever want to upgrade this, I'll just go with an Aragon mesh band, which is one of the best mesh bands you can get for the money. I have it on my uh, my Aqua Dive watch. I also have it on my uh, Delta T. It's a sweet band. Uh, you can you'll be blown away with the quality. It's like sixty bucks. So pretty awesome. Um, again, you have your Cantina style crown protectors. These screw off, and naturally uh, there is an inner ring. So when you turn this inner ring, you're changing the different locations around the world and putting those God knows where because I have no idea how to use them. Uh, but still an awesome looking watch. Uh, I just love the Cantina style crown protectors. The one I really wanted actually had four of them and another function. It was just a big chunky looking and, the, and these Cantina style crown protectors are iconic for like your Russian divers, your German dive watches. That's something when you look at this, it just screams German, Russian, that kind of dive style. Uh, completely different than a lot of the other brands out there, including Invicta. Um, I really love what they're doing. The only problem is, is that I just went to the website and they really don't have many of these watches left. They just kind of stopped making them. And it seems like they're just kind of making ones that are more, I guess more of like what you consider finding, almost similar to like a Seiko Turtle. Uh, and I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these, but they just have never contacted me. Uh, worst customer service of any company I've ever dealt with. Uh, I mean, all the times I've emailed them about trying to get a manual, trying to get some instructions, their web presence on information on how to even run, work the watch, uh, non-existent. But I'm still glad I got it. This is one, again, I actually uh, purchased for myself because I've been wanting one of their watches for quite some time. It's just unfortunate I don't know how to use it, and it didn't come with any kind of uh, literature. No instructions, no nothing, and I've messed with it. I pressed all the buttons on it. Uh, I can't seem to get the thing to, to go into an alarm mode. I have no idea how to operate this watch, which is very uh, unfortunate. But uh, again, still cool. I definitely think it's a unique watch for my collection. I think I will probably change this out eventually to maybe a bright orange strap. I think it'd be pretty nice. It kind of has that dive style. And I love when dive watches have that orange color. I've been wanting to get my hands on a Seiko dive watch for a while with that orange and black. I think it's a cool color combination, but I definitely like what I've done with this with that black case. Again, the orange accents on the face, the big, huge Cantina style crown protectors. A uh, very, 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 very solid, durable feeling watch. Uh, again, not so much on the band, but it gives me the look I wanted, and you know, I'll eventually change that out. Um, pretty, pretty darn cool looking watch, though. Again, you may not like it. Some folks, you know, it may not be for them. Um, price on this was. Let's see here. This is in euros. Let's see what USD is on. If you want to get the uh, the other one there, uh, the range in price from about two hundred, about one hundred eighty three dollars up to about two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, if you do want to pick up the other watch, that one is two hundred dollars. I'll put a link in description. Uh, they just call it their Talmeister Extra Extra Large Military World Timer Alarm. Uh, 
And the model number on this here is the T1096. So pretty sweet watch. Let's go ahead and throw it on the wrist. I know I didn't give you guys a lot of information on the watch, but unfortunately, I just don't have a lot of information on the watch. And, you know, they do have a 30-day return policy. That's directly through the site. I would never order this off their website because uh, if you can't even get somebody to contact you back after five emails, I mean, and not just about like, hey, can you send me a free watch review? I mean, this company just will not send you an email back. And it makes me wonder if their email address is even correct. Um, and as far as information on it, it just it, it just says description on here. Very, very minimal website. Uh, technical watches with hist historical design templates. German Taumeister offers excellent quality watches for a unique price. Um, it doesn't say anything about... Uh, other in uh, case thickness, 15 millimeters, uh, 47 millimeter in case diameter. Again, that's not including these huge crown and function pushers on here. Uh, definitely make the watch rather large. Uh, they say mineral crystal glass, uh, five ATMs of water resistance. The strap is, of course, leather, 22 millimeters in strap width. And the guarantee is 24 months, but that's about it. It doesn't say anything regarding the movement or, you know, I mean, there's a spot for reviews. There's just not a lot of information on this brand. And it really is unfortunate because they do make some really unique timepieces that I would love to be able to share with you guys. Uh, but, you know, maybe I will buy one of their dive style watches at a later date, but it is a little concerning to actually have no information. And these are not really sold very many places. There's not a lot of places you can get this other than directly on the manufacturer's website or eBay. A uh, nice thing if you do buy it through eBay, you are going to buy through a, a, a distributor, a, a retail seller, and as long as there are return policies within line for your comfort zone, then you'll be able to return it. And I almost returned this one because I, uh, I wanted the other one, and before I could return it, the other one sold out, so I just opted to keep this one. Um, and I paid about $136, so it wasn't that expensive. It was a pretty affordably priced watch, and I'm still happy I have it in my collection. I'll probably end up wearing it more once I get that orange strap on there, uh, but still pretty cool. So let's go ahead and throw it in the wrist. I'll show you what it looks like on a guy my size, my height, my weight. I'm about five foot seven and a half. I weigh about 175 pounds, and I have a seven inch wrist. So this is what it looks like on a guy my size, my height, my weight. Really unique looking piece. Um, definitely not small by any means. Uh, you know, and some of the you know the folks out there won't even go over a, a like a 40 millimeter watch. Uh, you still got a 47. For my Invicta lovers, you guys are. <laughs> Not gonna, you're not gonna think it's large, but keep in mind when you have those huge function pushers and crown. Uh, let me just get a measurement for you guys. Check out my high tech caliber. Caliper. Uh, we're looking at 65 millimeters, all 66 millimeters, all the way from left to right, from large function pusher crown all the way out to the second one. So big chunky watch. It's huge. I mean, you know. That's, but that's why I wanted the one with the four, the four uh, Cantina style crown protectors or function pushers because it just really made the watch that much bigger. But it's still a cool piece, uh, definitely a unique timepiece. Whenever I wear this, someone asks me what it is uh, because you just don't see a lot of watches like this. And I think it looks pretty sharp on that mesh strap. Not bad, folks. All right, well, let me know if you guys have any questions. I will do my best to answer those questions uh, because, again, I don't have a lot of information on this watch. Uh, it's just a company that I don't know if they just don't sell a lot or they don't have much of a presence, but I definitely think they're, you know, one of the unique, most unique watches I've seen. Um, I believe they also own, and don't quote me on this, but I think they also are affiliated with Aromatic watches. Very, very similar in design. Uh, but, again, these ones with the large... German style crown, uh, cantina style crown protectors, um, or canteen style. I got corrected on that too. So, sorry guys, I just talk how I talk. It is what it is. But I've, I've been told that um, uh, that co or that that company actually uh, kind of stopped making these as well. So uh, maybe due to popularity, this isn't for everyone, of course. But I think it's a pretty unique piece, and I think it's uh, it looks pretty cool. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. As always, folks, if you do make a purchase, check out my links. I'll put a link for uh, two links, one for eBay listings, and uh, and I'll, I'll look at Amazon also. I'm pretty sure eBay is going to be the best place to buy this. I'll put one for Aromatic so you can check out their line. I'll put one for Towelmeister so you can check out what they offer. And uh, let me know if you pick one up. Let me know what you guys think about it. I love getting the comments. As always, folks, have a great evening and take care.